Hello there, this is Archbishop Sok Villegas, greeting you from the Archdiocese of Linga and the Gupan, welcoming you to the Light of Faith. At baptism, the most important element that we use is water. So we pour water on the baby or the person to be baptized and we say, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Why water? What is the symbolism of water? First and foremost, water symbolizes life. Without water, we cannot live. Without water, we would die. So, when we pour water on the person to be baptized, we are actually bringing the person into the life of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So, baptism is an entry into the life of the Church. It is an entry into the life of the Holy Trinity. Because we enter into the life of the Holy Trinity, Water, being symbol of life, means that we are born again, that we are reborn and we have become children of God. Until now, this baby is the child of his mother and his father. But after baptism, because the baby has received new life, this baby becomes the sister or the brother of his own parents or her own parents. That is the first meaning of baptism entry into the new life of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and entry into the new life of the Christian community, the Church. Second, water is also a symbol of death. We can drown in water. Water is also a symbol of death because when we get carried away by the current of the river or the deep ocean or the floods, we can die. And we have heard many stories of people dying because of water. So, at baptism, when we pour water, there is also the symbolism of dying. When the Israelites crossed the Red Sea, they passed through the Red Sea. That, is our, that, is, that was their exodus. That was their liberation. You know, when we baptize, when we get baptized, when we baptize our babies as priests, we let them experience dying, dying to sin. Has the baby committed sin? He has not committed any sin, but he is in a state of weakness. He is incapable of saving himself. He is incapable of helping himself. And that is in our theology called original sin. Original sin, meaning to say, there is an inborn incapacity, there is an inborn defect in all of us to save ourselves. We cannot help it. We are inadequate. We are incapable of saving ourselves. So, by the act of pouring water, the sin is drowned, so to speak. By the act of pouring water, the sin is washed away, so to speak, and we drown and we bring, we bring death to sin. The third meaning of water in baptism is cleansing. As you wash your hands with water, as we take a bath with water, baptism is also cleansing. It cleanses us from sin, it cleanses us from our weaknesses, and it forgives sins. That is why if you are baptized as an adult, the sins that are forgiven are not only the actual sins, but also original sin. The inborn defect is forgiven, but also the actual sins that you have done before baptism as an adult are also forgiven. Brothers and sisters in Christ, baptism is such an important sacrament 
that you cannot receive the other sacraments without it. In fact, John the 23rd called us lay people as the eighth sacrament. And after we are baptized, we become the sacrament of other people for the world. The, the Christian is the eighth sacrament. When people see us, they should see no longer us, but Christ shining through us. Baptism. It is such an important sacrament. It is the door that opens to all the sacraments. Lastly, in case of emergency, for example, a baby is in danger of death, anyone can take clean water and using the formula of baptism, he can say to the baby in danger of death, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And this baby is reborn into the Christian family. The sins are washed away and death is, death is, is brought, uh, the, there is death to his sin. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, appreciate baptism. Rediscover baptism. When you see water, remember, it kills, it gives life, it washes. When you see water, remember baptism. When you see water, remember the love of God for you. Thank you for being with us in the light of faith. And I encourage you to know the Lord even more, to know our faith even more. It, there is a rich treasure waiting for us. There is a rich treasure waiting to be discovered by all of us. Do not get tired. Keep on knowing the Lord because the Lord loves you very much and He wants to be known. He wants to be loved. God bless you.